What's the hardest you've ever been hit when you were fighting? Like in the actual fight? Yeah. That's that's the one. Or did you not ever really get hit? Because no, you're a I've submission been hit. guy. I've been hit, yeah. I mean, it probably even been hit more because I'm a submission guy, right? Interesting. Because anytime you're going for a submission, both your hands are occupied. In MMA, when, my, when I first started dabbling in it, I knew where I wanted to go. And I got good at leg locks because at Greg Jackson's in New Mexico, uh, there was a lot of big That's guys. That's where uh, John Jones trained? John Jones trained there. Uh, Diego yep. Sanchez was one of the originals. You have to tell the story about John Jones. I don't know how. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to bring that one in. Okay. So I got real good at leg locks. And when I would go with big guys, I kind of started to notice that like you got to find a way to win, right? And I noticed that not a lot of people uh, protected their legs. So I would attack legs often. And when I translated that to MMA, um, I would go for legs, but I noticed like I had probably two or three fights where when I got to the position, I hesitated and looked at them. And one of the times I hesitated to look at them, both my hands were down. The guy came over the top with an overhand right and pow, knocked me out. There's two answers to that because that's the hardest I, I had been hit. However, the second answer to that is funny because you think it's the hardest, but you actually don't know because when you're hit that hard, you, know, you don't you're like, remember. You don't feel it really even, right? You're you just don't like, you're feel out. anything. <laughs> you wake up and you're like, and you say, what happened? Some you, people will kind of freak out when they wake up too, right? Like they'll think they're still fighting or whatever and it's like over or something Oftentimes, like that. but it, yeah, I'm actually even talking more like in the locker room. Interesting. A lot of times in the locker room, you know, just like any fight, any fight or any sporting event, you get back to the locker room, you sit down, your coaches are here. Obviously, if you got knocked out, you have, and back in the day, you didn't have medical personnel there with you, but huh. um, nowadays you would have a medical there with you, right? Yeah. EMT or something. And most of the time, the guy is like, hey, what happened? So then a couple minutes usually go by and then they ask it again, like, hey, what happened? Huh. And then a couple minutes again, hey, what happened? And at Greg's, we used to have this kind of, not really joke, but like <laughs> this little thing where we would always say, hey, like when somebody gets knocked out, let, we need a card that tells that you can write in there what happened <laughs> and you put it in their pocket because they're going to ask several <laughs> times, like, what happened? <laughs> That's funny, dude. So, but you don't remember That's it. Awesome. And it's funny because your memory does slowly come back to it with time. And that's an interesting thing to think about is like, did it come back or did you see it? And then now you made new memories yeah, cause you associated like the with it. Yeah, because right. you watched the film or did it really come back? And that, I don't know. So don't then know the that is an interesting <laughs> thought <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> I, to get like philosophical on that. I'm sure that was deep. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, <laughs> right. And right. just in general too, like in life, would you actually remember things or do you just tell yourself the story that you wanted to tell about it? What happened? Yeah. But that, what's the hardest that you've hit, been hit that you felt? I remember once I got hit in practice, I was training with Leonard Garcia. He was WEC champ at a time. He did fight in the UFC. He was like one of the first guys um, when UFC really started making it big, he's one of Cowboy Cerrone's uh -huh. real big training partners. They're yeah, good yeah. friends. Um, and he was, the bare knuckle, he was a bare knuckle uh, champion as well. Hmm. Um, one day he was getting ready for a fight and we were sparring. And I remember he threw an overhand right when we were standing up. And all I remember was getting hit and tumbling backwards, <laughs> like totally tumbling backwards. <laughs> and I remember... Uh, Mike Wink, Winkle John's the kickboxing coach at Greg. I remember he was like, hold on, hold on, Rich. Like, <laughs> you just got hit really hard. And I'm like, oh, I know I did. But I, I remember, I was like, but I remember it. And I remember tumbling. Uh, so I want to keep going. That's awesome. <laughs>